Red Revolution gathers pace. Gerard Houllier's French wisdom and the scouse wit of Phil Thompson has made Anfield a much happier place. Once more, the club is reaching for the stars. A buzz which hasn't been felt for a decade. A team built on the solid foundation of the fantastic Finn, Sammy Hoopier, the Swiss timing of Stefan Honcho, and the flying Dutchman, Sander Westerveld. Gerard Houllier shattered the club transfer record to sign Emil Heskey. There's the priceless home produced Michael Owen and young player of the year Stephen Gerard. The pride's back on Merseyside. When I walk in the street and the people, uh, if, if they, you know, come sometimes to, to see me and they said uh, the players have done very well and uh, we, we've brought back some pride to uh, everybody. I think it's been a great season. If you look at it at the start of the year, we would have took fourth place with the, perhaps the start we had. Uh, and I'd have to say that it's uh, from the management staff and everything, the players, the new players have come in and bedded in very well. And I'd have to say it's been a very, very much a success this year. Gerard Houllier proudly unveiled his six new summer signings, all foreign, all young. It started competitive jostling for all positions. We have uh, signed players, uh, I would say, between the age of 19 for some of them, uh, up to the age of 25, 26. That means the best years are to come. The lads who we've brought in have all brought something. They're good professionals and they're all different in their own way. You've got Kamara, who's, who's certainly an extrovert on the football pitch. Um, you've got Smyser, who's, who's silky skills, tremendous. You've got the goalkeeper, who, who, is, who is shouting, screaming, keeping everybody on the toes, Eric Meyer. Big, strong, great touch on the ball. And so, and Stefan Henschel, who's a good defender, experienced international. Obviously, Sammy Hyper, I think, speaks for himself. Just as the season started, Liverpool paid £8 million for the Diddy Man. Well, Diddy Hamman. The German international, one of five debutants at Hillsborough on the season's opening day. Redknapp, camera, Redknapp again. Fowler, Redknapp, brilliant football, good stop, not over, it is, Newsom off the line, good save, great football all round from Liverpool. Looks like it's going to be Redknapp, it is, too hot to handle, Fowler! Well, you backed him normally, wouldn't you? throw Up towards Fowler camera <laughs> nearly got a goal on his debut and would have done that for Cernicek camera again he does look a good acquisition he's been confident throughout the game here's Fowler now Berger good football again from Liverpool are they to get a reward here's Fowler more and here's Fowler and it'll reach camera and he's got the goal that he's earned and he kisses the badge and the Liverpool player he says my how he enjoyed it too Liverpool fans singing as well they might it's been a pretty comprehensive performance and a pretty good way of opening the campaign Carbone's goal surely just a statistic the buzz in the dressing room is quite good at the minute. Uh, we're playing well as a team. We started off um, you know, pre-season, we've started uh, playing well. Uh, we started the season off with a good win today. Good turn as well. Real chance for Smeecher. Are we still going? He's past Page. And it's almost turned into his own goal by Williams. And a good start from Liverpool and from Smeecher. now that's 
sucker punch of a goal. Here's Camera. Still Camera. And it's right across the face of Gerrard. Agonisingly close for Liverpool. The rain still teaming down. Who's it going to be? Berger. Knocked over the top by Day. Can I just say one thing that was great for myself and the players? Over the years, you know, the Liverpool supporters are well known for their knowledge of the game. And when they applaud you off, as they did the Watford players today, that brings a lump in your throat because you know the Liverpool supporters know the game. And I think that was more pleasing for me, and I know it was for the players than anything else. It was a great reception that the Liverpool supporters gave us at the end of the game, and I'd like to thank them for that. Steve Staunton, plenty of green shirts ahead of him. That's over the head of Fowler. Given away by Pallister. Redknapp, not a great deal of width for Liverpool. Kamara might go and find it with the ball. Instead, he cuts infield. And still Kamara, this is Fowler. Can he get there? He can, but he couldn't control the shot. Played by O'Neill. Hippier coming across. Sliding a good two or three yards before he was near the ball. This is Ziga. He's worked a good opportunity. Ryan Dean, but he goes immediately towards the German who's made such an impression in such a short space of time. Christian Ziga. Kamara. by Schwarzer. After back-to-back -back defeats, a trio of tough games. To come, Manchester United, Arsenal, and first, a fast-emerging Leeds United at Ellen Road. A chance for Liverpool, however. Berger's cross, and Redknapp has got a shooting position. <laughs> really like to see that again because that's a brilliant clearance here from Lee Boyer. It was he over the line. Great play from Redknapp. First corner of the game for Leeds United. Really hammered in and the goalkeeper in trouble and Leeds have scored. And it's Darren Huckabee who's given them the lead with his first and a goal for his new club. Berger, Camera. Patrick Berger, great tackle, Cameron shot! Oh, what a superb equalising goal! Right on the stroke of half-time by Titi Camara, his second goal in the Premiership, an absolute beauty! Yes, a well-deserved two. Should have been an injustice if Liverpool had gone in behind. Sooner or later, Alan, David O'Leary's got to consider making a change, because at this moment, Liverpool are dominating the ball. And whenever Leeds do get it, they can keep a hold of it in forward areas. Problem is Bridges and Huckabee are giving it away too easily. Berger's cross, Fowler is there! <laughs> Liverpool takes the lead, Robbie Fowler! What a great ball that is from Berger, played in, really tested, Radaby. Is it on goal? I hope not, oh, it's Robbie Fowler, we don't another one. Let's have a look. Well, it could possibly have been an on goal. We might get a clear view here, it's a great ball in from Berger. I think that's an own goal. Now Redner. Berger. Fowler with the goal in front of him now. Robbie Fowler! What a strike and what a goal! Here's 149th for Liverpool. And there's 10th in only 12 matches. Arsenal. Fowler. And still Robbie Fowler. Very good stop by Alex Manninger. This is Redknapp. Berger. Oh, 
clipped the outside of the post. Four in the wall. It's red now. That really was travelling. And Manninger punched it directly into touch. Such was the force of the kick. It was fortunate that it was fairly close to him. Here's Redknapp again. Berger to Fowler. So unfortunate. his power once but this is a thick end of 30 yards out Berger's hit the post already it's Patrick Berger's turn it's deflected 2-0 all of Anfield acclaims the goal that should settle this contest Henri Jungberg outside Bergkamp through the middle it's a lovely pass to Freddie Jungberg. That looks like a penalty. Song's tackle brought down Jungberg. And the referee is pointed to the spot. Song lunged for the ball and made contact with it. And Davor Schuka has the chance to score his first goal for Arsenal. Confirmation that this is Liverpool's day. to play on any nerves of a, a newcomer in goal. Well, it's been a pretty comfortable 22 minutes for the new lad. One direct shot to deal with, no more. Here he comes now, and doesn't get there, and it's cost a goal, and it's Herpia putting Liverpool back in the picture. Well, they left it to their goalkeeper. The goalkeeper let them down. A decent ball in. But as he comes, they allow him to come. You see Henningberg almost step out the way, expecting Taibi to just punch it, pam it away. He does nothing, he gets nowhere near it. And Hupia just does ever so well. He keeps his eye on the ball. It would have been easy to miss that. Take your eye off it. But he kept his eye on it. And the Frenchman has his first moment of joy in the game. Berger's corner. It's a handball, it's got to be a thought. Nicky Butt, Fowler. Oh, blame it. Well, Liverpool still have their arms raised, and uh, they're saying Nicky Butt did the same. Beckham and Giggs survey the possibilities. It's Beckham who takes it. Oh, and it's uh, bundled into the net. And they've gone to Henning Berg. Well, what a ball to Berger, an absolute peach. He makes a great run, but watch this for the first time, ball. Superb, and Berger does everything right. He gets his body between Berger and himself. He keeps the defender away from the ball just there. Well, I think today, I mean, we showed that uh, there's not a huge gap, but I think they're a better side than ours. They proved it today. If you make mistakes, uh, well, you pay for it against them. That's a sign of a good team. And uh, if you have chances, you've got to uh, put them at the back of the net because also, otherwise you, you can't win. 
Staunton, the Republic of Ireland international through to the Czech international Switzer. Pulled across in here, and this is goal number one. And it was beautifully struck by Danny Murphy. Schmitzer. Good play from him. Now Murphy, Owen calling for it. Here he is. Never seems to know which way he wants to go. Rolls it out for Thompson. Cross ball in. Two defenders. Oh, a chance for number two. And number two it is, and they've both gone to the same man. He played it directly against Thompson there, did Swales, and he's put his own team on the back foot. David Thompson for Michael Owen. Skips over the first challenge, Thompson angles it through. Meyer might get a shot in, it's three. And Eric Meyer has his first goal as a Liverpool player. see what they can do with the corner which is dispatched long headed back in and smacked into the net and Hull City have got their goal Hagen seeing a lot of the ball driving on through the middle and he's played his man Meyer in here this might be four Eric Meyer it is four and so easily taken quality finish and Liverpool home and dry this is Bergen now. And in movement around there. This is where Liverpool is so dangerous. And Staunton whacks it in. And that is as good a goal as you can see. It's five. And it's Steve Staunton who has thoroughly merited a goal. Oh, well, three chances there. And finally, Cotty is through. What a chance for Leicester early on. Here's Camera now. At that point, Owen had left the middle, but he's in possession next. Liverpool fans on their feet. This is still Owen to Berger. And Berger goes down. Penalty. as you like Taggart and Elliott again up Matt Elliott didn't quite get the touch Camera against Savage now then Camera's got paced and he's up against Sinclair now it's a good run this and it's Owen and Liverpool are in the lead Michael Owen has got his second goal Now it's Camera. Oh, that was a challenge by. Oh, it's Sinclair, and I think he's already been yellowed. He's off. Frank Sinclair didn't even wait for the red. He's walked away. Gilchrist. Is it Elliot? Oh, great return for Fuzzy. Is it surely? had the lead back immediately and may still do so with the header from Thompson Maggio oh that's a late challenge on uh, Robbie Savage by David Thompson on the edge of the area and something will have to be done here Uriah Rennie will have to go to his pocket. It's a question of which colour for Thompson. It's red. He'd already been booked. Such a healthy lead, it's hard to know exactly how to approach this game. But Liverpool have an early opening. Staunton. And Murphy! He got two in the first leg. He's got another now. Forward by Song. 
back of the head of Rickle and Bracey, well, he's out of his area, surely, there. And that'll be a deliberate handball. And the referee has a decision to make. And that, despite Liverpool protests, is a red card. Maxwell. A couple of drops of the shoulder. And a finish to match. Terrific goal. Swing in towards a posse of players on the far side. Claims of handball from the men behind the goal and now from the man who matters. Little cheeky drop of the shoulder, a dummy and a flick into the corner from air. Hesitation. There's more hesitation and offside. Well, the whole city fans are jubilant. It's 2-2 on the night. All city fans, as you would imagine, enjoying their trip to Anfield, singing away. And Riedler, meanwhile, will put Liverpool back in front. And maybe the singing will stop. And still, oh, good play from Newby, and it's on a plate for Reba, and he doesn't need asking twice. The ball bounces kindly there for Barnby. Jeffers turns it forward, Campbell's onside! Everton have scored! What a start! kick over Campbell's head and a great save again by Vestabell to deny Everton another goal Liverpool in a bit of trouble again at the back Barnby, Jeffers is onside offside rather and he and Vestabell have an angry clash and they're both going to be in trouble here well they've got to go haven't they the two of them have got to go off, Jeffers and Vestabell it's a pity but Mr Riley's got no option and Steve Staunton. Well, he certainly looks to take over the place. So Liverpool's problem even worse than I imagined. Well, Everton have a man down injured at the moment, so uh, Mr. Riley's ignored it. Way to go on, yeah. Meyer's shot, and it's deflected, and almost in corner. What a great save that was from Gerrard. Barnby did well then for Everton. Campbell takes a clattering challenge from young Gerrard, and it's a red card for him. And the Merseyside derby explodes again here in stoppage time. The third red card of the night. Good ball for Barnby. And still Barnby. Oh, good save. Xavier denied what would have been his first goal. Steve Staunton, focus of attention against Everton, and then again a week later at Villa Park. Booked early in the game, he was to be the victim of one of the season's most bizarre expulsions. And Thompson fires it. Oh, and this time Vestidod has to make a save with his hands. Going down to his left, a good strike by the left footer here, Alan Thompson, between two defenders, that was creeping in. So, still danger here for Liverpool. Thompson looks as though he's shaping to take it. And he did. And the referee says, retake. Retake. Liverpool can't understand why, I can assume. Oh, yellow card again. Is it Staunton? Is it going to be a red? He's off. Staunton is off the pitch. Second offence. And I can only assume it's encroachment. Steve Staunton, on his return to Villa Park, has been shown the red card. Red nap. Oh, it wasn't a bad effort, and Enkelman couldn't hold it. 
The first clean sheet of the season, and notably the Villa game, was the first time Sami Hupia partnered Stefan Oncho. It worked like a dream. When I was young, I, I was a fan uh, of Liverpool, and, uh, and yeah, it's, it's like, a, like a dream come true. Uh, when, when I uh, think about uh, when I was young, I dream, dreamt uh, some, some, some day to play uh, at Anfield. The Liverpool fan gave up an opportunity to captain Willemsvai in the Champions League. The man who spotted him was the legendary Anfield centre-half. The game I saw, he never gave one pass to the opposition in 90 minutes. I couldn't believe it myself, you know, and uh, when I came back to uh, report to our manager, Gerard, and, and I said, Gerard, we've got to sign this boy. I said, I'll tell you what, he could be anything he wants to be. He's got everything. What a signing this has been for Gerard Hill, the AV. Finnish international. Really is a good leader as well. Just who does he remind you of? In the 60s, Bill Shankly invited the press to walk around his colossus. Almost 40 years on, history repeats itself. Obviously, his height and the... And, and the we can get up and head a ball is a big benefit for us and a big benefit for a centre back obviously. It's not only his height and, and good in the air, his boy is great on the floor, gets it and you know finds a player most times you know. Uh, I think he's actually surprised us more than uh, we thought. He's a better player than we ever thought he would be. I love it because uh, every, in every every game there's 44,000 people uh, in the stand and uh, and the atmosphere is, is incredible, and uh, and that that makes it so uh, so nice to play, especially at Anfield. Rarely in a Liverpool career has a player been handed the captain's armband so quickly. The boss wanted to see me in his office, and I went there, and he he told me that uh, when Jamie is now injured and Robbie is also injured, so uh, you are the captain now. So I. I I was like uh, in shock that uh, oh, I, I just said uh, okay, and uh, and then I went uh, went out. So uh, yeah, it's a great honour. The header in towards Hupio, who has a second chance. Jones can't gather. Southampton at sixes and sevens. Jones palms it away, and eventually it's pumped behind for safety by Dean Richards. Richards. Poor ball from Dean Richards, Liverpool looking to take advantage, Owen goes past Richards, Owen with the shot, and Owen scores! Michael Owen puts Liverpool ahead. Letizier with the free kick. past Lundic Bum. Here's Eric Meyer for Liverpool. Infield to Owen, who must score, but doesn't. <laughs> Davis with the through ball towards Trump. Stolkin! Who scores for Southampton? What drama at the end of this match at the Dell. Yeah! The ball. Doesn't particularly look 10 yards away, but Redknapp will try and fire the ball over it. So, so close. Staunton with the free kick. Song almost makes it get it in. David Thompson has got it in. And Liverpool lead Chelsea. Murphy goes down. Desai, who's already received a yellow card, brings Danny Murphy down, and Desai receives another yellow card, and he's marching orders. And Michael Owen is the man who has the responsibility, a responsibility he hasn't been able to take. Now Murphy. And he's done well to hold his man off, but it's three against two for Liverpool for a moment. Here's Redknapp. Owen, the only player in support for him. He might not need him! Jamie Redknapp coming very, very close to sealing the victory for Liverpool. A wise 
Francis come increasingly into the game. Dennis Wise clashes with Schmatzer. And the referee has got another difficult decision to make. And it's a red card for Dennis Wise. Now time to start and have a, a real good run of, of victories because I think uh, they can do that. All I was happy is the fact that in terms of teamwork, team spirit, uh, team discipline, it, it was really spot on today. We've never had a problem be, uh, playing against the big teams. It's the so-called lesser teams that we have the problem. We always seem to slip up. But um, it's, it's, it's not through lack of effort. Maybe we, we, it's the way we approach the games, but today you couldn't fault the lads. They worked extremely hard and we got a great result. Smicha and Camera with the shot and it just zipped off the wet surface. Benali with the throw. This is Pahars. Benali leads support on the edge of the area. Instead he elects for the back post and Atizie back across goal and turned in by Trot Solvet. Hegem, no Liverpool player in the penalty area. Now there are two. Charge down the shot for Redknapp and then Camera scores! Now Liverpool beginning to spray the passes around a little bit. Kamara pots with him. Kamara finds some space himself and finds a lot of space on the right-hand side for Song. Keller hadn't come back. The ball threaded through there. From his lot, as Thompson got in an excellent shot. Oh, Ferdinand missed that one. Kamara! Cole on the left foot. That wasn't going anywhere. Kitson. Oh, one shot picks this one up. Can he get something in useful? He can to Sinclair! A wonderful save! He leapt up to kill that one, found Thompson who returns the ball to him. This is a great piece of skill from Song who's gone right from one end of the pitch to the other. Victor picks up the ball from Thompson, he could get the cross in here. It's a good cross, comes right across and it's a mistake by Ferdinand and it's a goal for Liverpool. Titi Kamara's fourth of the season and Rio Ferdinand a slip at a vital point that gives Liverpool a goal. This is Schmitter. Staunton lays it in again. Camera. Patrick Berger. That was close. Oh, it's a great little ball through. And the shot produces a marvellous goal. Dean Windes gives Bradford City the lead. No one wrote that in the script. Got away from his man brilliantly. Titi Camera! Taken to him here, and you can understand why. A brilliant individual goal to bring Liverpool level. But well, once again, he comes off, gets turned, very, very direct, hits it with his left foot across Clark. Once he shoots with his left foot, he gets so much accuracy. Right in the corner net, really, Matt Clark doesn't have much hope. Here's Patrick Berger. Did well to get away from Haller, and goes down, and the referee points to the penalty spot. And the ball was kicked in his direction, and struck Mr Winter on the head. I doubt he'll know who actually did that, sure myself but if he finds out that player might be in trouble Redknapp has stuck the ball on the spot and struck it home and Liverpool from one down leading two goals to one now Egger done well can he finish
bodies at the moment inside the penalty area for Liverpool. Waiting the cross from Staunton. Hoopier. Put away, but only as far as Carragher! Well, it was only a side foot, but it seemed to accelerate as it headed towards Russell Holt's goal. Murphy. Oh, good run by Murphy! <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't what he intended to do, but it's found Staunton. Maya. Oh, Murphy's got a bit of space now. Owens in the centre. It's Danny Murphy! Staunton, Redknapp through the centre, is onside, and Holt has missed it, Redknapp must make it 2-0, yes! There was an element of luck about both goals, a deflection for Danny Murphy, and, and your goal, the goalkeeper, missed it completely. Well, I just sort of done that uh, Pelé sort of went, no, you let him run, <laughs> and that. No, it, was, it happens, doesn't it, and uh, this ball sort of skidded off him, and... Uh, just managed to get on the end of it. It was, it was nice, really, because we just sat down a bit more, I think. But Danny took his goal well, I thought. Well, they got a deflection, he'd, he'd come inside the pillar and it was a great goal. But we've got a good blend now. We've got some good youngsters as well, some local lads, uh, you know, Stevie Gerrard, Dave Thompson. Dave Thompson's a great player. <laughs> no, we've got, a, we've got a good blend at the moment, and uh, I think it's working well, and he, he's rotating it as well. Um, there have been times we've relied heavily on Michael and Robbie, but obviously with their recent injury problems, we've. We've done well still without them, so it's got to look good. Um, we've got a good squad and we're pushing for honours, hopefully. After an undistinguished start, the team was beginning to take shape. Six league games unbeaten, Liverpool sped up to fifth. Gray lifting it towards Quinn. He gets to it, Phillips looking for Quinn for the return. And it's away by Hupia. Owen round the back. Williams can shift a bit as well, so too can Owen. Still with Owen. And that is a brilliant solo goal by Michael Owen. It trickled in in the end, but the approach work was absolutely high-speed Owen. Taken sharply. Gray's ball into the middle. Here's Quinn. And Phillips, oh, that is a marvellous save. Thompson this time, that's the throw. Thompson getting away. A neat control. And Berger, it's a second. Patrick Berger makes it 2 0. The nil, a very important statistic. Sander Vesterveld had kept the team's fifth clean sheet in seven league games was firmly established as Liverpool's number one. And as a young goalkeeper, you always dream of playing for a big club. And yeah, when I signed for Liverpool, uh, the club I, uh, I admired, uh, there was yeah, something really great. And, uh, and to play uh, this season, yeah, it's, it's, it's really a dream uh, come true. Comes to Pembridge. Went for the gap down inside the near post. Festival kept it up. It's not easy for um, uh, a new goalkeeper, a young goalkeeper, coming from abroad to, to uh, settle so well for the first year. And I think we had uh, something like about 15 clean sheets with him, so that shows uh, how good he can be for the future of this club. I know the problems of last year, and uh, to come here and then have the best defence record, that gives you a great feeling. Here's Lomas, pulled it back to Canio, but saves Sinclair! Trevor Sinclair, the scorer. And uh, now it's Song. Harman goes again. De Canio goes to ground. That's Song. Thompson's coming in far side. Oh, chance in the middle. And it's there by Owen, but the ball, I think, might have been out on the far side originally. 
There's no goal. The assistant referee on the near side was flagging here. And I think that's because the ball must have gone over the line before it was knocked back by Thompson for Owen to put it into the net. So it was a goal kick, not a goal. Alex Anderson. Great goal. It flew in. Matteo. Murphy. Our man. He can get behind Vim Yonk, and he's done that. The cross for David Thompson. But initially, though, he might be thinking about letting it drop for the volley. Went for the header. Well, Thompson and Owen almost confusing each other. Thompson, great uh, stop, but that's put in by Murphy. In fact, it wasn't an easy chance to take, but Danny Murphy made light of it. Talk about taking the bull by the horns. 19 years of age. Oh, that's a wonderful reward. A man. Thompson, Liverpool want more. And David Thompson, another solo run, oh, another yes. splendid solo goal. Oh, yes. Well, these young kids, Martin, they're answering every question that's been asked of them today. What a goal from a young lad. I said he's been fantastic all day, but what about this for a finish? Absolutely top draw. Wonderful finish for this man's brilliant days and a fabulous day. Overhit by Murphy. Carragher trying to make something of it. Volleyed first time by Sammy Herpier and it was deflected behind for a corner. Camera. Schmitzer. Oh, Camera, terrific goal. Wonderful volley by Titi Camera. Just for a moment, Vassen, who got a left hand to it, might have felt it kept it out. But from Spitzer's cross, Titi Camera rocketed the ball into the corner of the net to give Liverpool the lead. Well, he set up the move with his ball to Spitzer, and that's a great volley. Spitzer, though. Now Camera, Liverpool have got an army charging forward to his left and heading that army is Deep Rahman. He'll leave it go for Dominic Matteo. On the outside of Irons, it's Matteo! <laughs> Liverpool lead by two goals to nil. And from one end of the field to the other in the blink of an eye. And Dominic Matteo was the man who rounded off that dramatic counter-attack. But I tell you what, Kenny Irons is desperately unlucky. He slips just as he's trying to jockey uh, Matteo, and that leaves Matteo on his left foot, going in on goal. But my idea was that to build Liverpool into a bastion of invincibility, you know, like Napoleon had that idea, he would conquer the world, you know. The Coventry City game coincided with the celebrations of Bill Shankly's arrival at Liverpool 40 years ago. The legends turned out in force to pay tribute. I mean, obviously I wasn't there 40 years ago, but he changed my life. Um, I met him, um, he signed me from Scunthorpe for £33,000 and he believed in me. He broke the mould, there'll never be anybody like him again. Uh, and, you know, I'm looking forward to today and uh, all the celebrations. Yeah. My hero, I loved him. He was, uh... I just love Shanks. I mean, I was, he was like, uh, he was everything you could possibly want as a, as a person, as a man, as a manager. He was just a top man. The cop and the choir masters collaborated for a special rendition of the Anfield anthem.
Matteo. Michael Owen. This is his territory. Michael Owen, brilliant! Oh, Michael Owen! It needed something special. Oh, nicely taken. Whelan! Wonderful stop by Mr. Bell. Camera. Good strike! Just when Liverpool's nerves were beginning to twitch and Coventry were looking likely to equalise, surely that now has made the point safe. What do you think Bill Shanky would have made of the game today? He would have been happy because uh, he knew too much uh, how important a win is for a club. Uh, whether he would have been proud of what we've done today, I don't know. But uh, the best tribute and the best celebration we could offer the former successful players of this club and uh, all the fans was just to win today and we did it in a good in a good manner Dabby Zas is up again Shearer comes in oh and there's the ball in the net it's Alan Shearer this is Gerard. Harman with Berger free on the left hand side. A lot of players up here for Liverpool. It's Patrick Berger saved by Harper and scrambled away for a corner. Good opening though. Here's Camera. He's got Owen to his right. Here's a chest for the Newcastle defence. Owen with two up against him. Owen, that's brilliant. Oh, he took that marvellously well. And Michael Owen is back. There's no question about that now. That's the real Michael Owen. He had two defenders to contend with and the goalkeeper, and you wouldn't have backed him in that situation perhaps a couple of weeks ago when he was still recovering from his injury. But watch him now. Shearer. Armin. Camera. Newcastle currently down to 10 men. Oh, Davidas has played it terribly short. Michael Owen against Stephen Harper. And there's going to be a second goal for Liverpool and Michael Owen. What a cool finish. And Ferguson closing in again. Murphy was in the corner, was in the shot, it's a goal! It's Michael Owen! He scores against the team it all started against when he was fresh out of finishing school. Free kick to Wimbledon, taken quickly on the blind side of Liverpool defence. Cunningham chips the ball in, who's going to get there? It's an equaliser, Marcus Gale! Squeezing together, Smith is making himself a bit of a nuisance. It's going to be Patrick Berger who's going to take it, no doubt about that. Berger does! Oh, well taken! Cop that! Well, there's only one option, they left the ball to Patrick Berger. It's all yours, they said. And he chopped on it like a turkey leg. Lost the ball. Fowler puts the Wimbledon defenders off. Smith has sneaks through. Fowler gets a chance, and Robbie Fowler scores a comeback goal. Remember me, he says. He may have been out for three months, but the predatory instincts are very much intact. It was not the case, got, but it was, it was not a bad header. But um, they all count on Matari going. Uh, we're in a bad one, you know, the last goal at Anfield seen this millennium, you know, in a cop end, you know, so... It did mean a lot to you, didn't it? <laughs> it was not a bad goal, it was just pleasing to be back. Tottenham unable to really be able to get themselves forward as they would like. Armstrong tries his luck! What a goal by Chris Armstrong! Kamara. 
Oh, he's done well to turn his side. Campbell, Tini Kamara, and Steven Gerrard in the follow up. Thompson to what the players in camera. Oh, what a mess in the defence. Thompson and Owen and Berger and a goal for Liverpool. Patrick Berger, but a real succession of missing clearances and hesitancy in the Watford defence. And Harmon strike. Oh, it's a goal. Did David Thompson get a touch on that, I wonder? Liverpool have gone two up, and I think little David Thompson touched that in from Dietmar Harmon. He fires it through the crowd. That's a little touch, I think, from number 25, David Thompson. This is Robinson for a beleaguered Watford, but can Gravelen do something for them here? Did well to do that much. Johnson! Oh, it's a goal! They've got one back, and it's Richard Johnson. Per Petrini to curl it in, and Helgerson comes in first. Oh, it's a goal! And the newcomer has done it for Watford. Gravelin, Johnson. Can't force it through to Helgerson. Liverpool win it back. Thompson. Taking on Robinson. Smeets there. Vladimir Smitser for Liverpool. And I do believe it's his first goal for the club. Oh, Kazan Vine Ince from Carragher's pass. This could be promising. And Ince here is onside. There's no flag, but he seemed to stop and check out what was happening. And Festerveld was quickly out. Matty on one of those. Burst towards the box, finds Patrick Berger! It was close. Matteo to Patrick Berger. Berger! Brilliant save, but it comes to Danny Murphy! Oh, somehow, somehow scrambled away by Middlesbrough, and her man has blazed it wide, and it just was not meant to be. the long one instead it's in for Berger that's a good strike and a good save just turned it round the post but it's Hammond and it's in via deflection Burkox Could have been done by McPhail, Wilcox, and Boya! Good goal! Seemed to go through his immediate opponent, Schmitzer. Berger! Good strike! Lovely goal! Combination of check play. Berger's finish after Smeets started it and then played it square, having apparently gone straight through the Leeds man behind him. There was space for the shot and he hit it superbly. Murphy. Well, we 
seen some shooting in this match. Lee Dixon goes way back, follows the run. Now he shouldn't have been doing from that side of the pitch. He can't affect the play from that far away. The two centre backs, Rimondi had a little look at Keon. They seemed to know they were stepping out. Lee Dixon very unusually has gone back deeper. But it's a wonderfully composed finish. Working across Jungberg. A good turn from him. And again, the tackle when it was needed. Came up for Liverpool. This time it was Gerrard. Oh, that's brilliant play. That is sensational play. From Jungberg as well to craft what he thinks is a crucial opening. It's a lovely piece of skill as it comes over from all the way here to lose two players, but watch Gerard suddenly, cross he comes, again he can't miss time this, he's given a penalty away, brilliant tackle. But there's a mistake by Keon Murphy! For the first time, the name of Liverpool was in the Premiership top three. A bright, resilient team was transforming with a touch of foreign flair and a strong Scouse accent. Team spirit here is fantastic. It's like a big family here, do you know what I mean? The early, the early age brought in a lot of foreign lads and at the beginning of the season, everyone was thinking, how are they going to mix the different languages and all that? But everyone speaks English now and the togetherness is unbelievable. Didn't tackle. You know, he scored goals. I think there's not, there's not really too many chinks in his armour, and, uh, and I think he could be a top-class player for the years to come for Liverpool. Yeah, I think he can be the best player in England someday. And he's still young, and he's he has much to learn, but he has every ability uh, to be uh, to be in uh, in the top. Comparisons with another Liverpool hard man began. Stevens called the new Graham Sinesse, amongst other things. Very few things, actually. You know. They compared me to the likes of Graham Sunes and Roy Keane, which is unbelievable. You know, I yeah, just they don't... were two nasty players as well. <laughs> <laughs> Around the New Year time, I was getting told to calm down a little bit in training, you know, and control my aggression. So, are we think... kicking all your mates? Yeah, I was going out to kill them. No, he doesn't tackle me. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a great tackler. I've been on the end of a lot of his passes and down the last few years, but none of his tackles, thankfully. The youth academy is paying dividends. Michael Owen and Stephen Gerrard coming through the system together. I've come through with Michael since we were 13, you know, moved up every age group and that, and then I think it was when we were 16, 17. He, um, we were in the same teams together, right? We're yeah, through, yeah, then he progressed uh, up into the first team and to the England team, which deservedly so. He was ready, I wasn't. and He's like, as I say, he's a role model for me. I want to follow and do everything that he's done. I don't think you had to be a genius to, to work out that he was going to you know, go to the top, but, you know, this is probably the hardest time now for him is, is to uh, to keep up, you know, because he's got great expectations of himself and everyone has of him now, and it's uh, it's just hard to, to live up to them. Um, and that's that's what he's got to do now, especially when he, he pulls on the, the red shirt of Liverpool and the white shirt of England. My ambition is to hold down a regular place, first of all, Short term, and then stay in the team for as long as I can. And, stay at Liverpool for the rest of my career because I don't really see myself moving anywhere else and hopefully one day when I'm about 30 I will come to Liverpool, yeah. He's a very, very promising player for the future of this club and he's, I can tell you that uh, his blood is red. It's Berger! Said it. This is a magnificent strike. In a stadium where they talk about the freaking ability of David Beckham, this is something special. It goes round the wall, Martin, so look at the bend on it. Wonderful bend. Having got there, I just wonder about the goalkeeper, but take nothing away. The pace and the power and the accuracy in this shot is there to be admired. So, oh, Berger! And this time, Van der Haar frustrates the player who battered the free kick past him a few minutes ago. Erwin keeps uh, on the sprint to keep it in. Sasha going near post. A deflection on the cross. Sasha!
Giggs looking to feed it in beyond home. Shows a brilliant pass for Solskjaer. And Jamie Carragher able to partially clear. It's actually hit Solskjaer and stayed in play. But Manchester United so close to getting in front for the first time today. Silvestre. Sheringham! Oh my god, those are my set to Sheringham. United's equalising goal came when Liverpool were down to ten men. So close to half time, Gerard Houllier wanted to give Sammy Hoopia time to recover. It was a difficult decision for you to make, wasn't it? To play with ten men and they equalised. Well, I was uh, a bit misled in terms of time uh, um, to, to, be, to be played. That's one part. and. Uh, and, and assume my responsibility. Who misled you? Uh, no, it's just because of the fact I thought there was only two or three minutes left, but in fact it was more than that. But never mind, I mean, I assumed the responsibility. He also took responsibility for smashing the club transfer record. £11 million for England international Emil Heskey. I looked at who's playing here already. There's some t uh, world class players, you know, it's not just up from in the midfield and at the back and even the goalkeeper, you know. So um, I looked at the full squad and I said, you know, um, I wanted to be a part of it. I know the way he plays, I know the way he fights uh, on the field, and uh, he'll do exactly the same for the red shirt. That's lovely. All right, thanks. This is Song for Liverpool. Now Heskey here is against Darren Williams. Tries to turn inside him. Oh, he's away and brought down penalty. What a start for Heskey. He's got a penalty in the third minute. Darren Williams is the defender here, number 18. Heskey's turned him there and he's pulled his shirt. Stand, they celebrate the first contribution from the new number eight. Heskey for Liverpool. Oh, he's off again on this right hand side, and again Williams has to come with him. Myers in the middle way, that's not a bad ball. Meyer! Heskey did marvellously well there. Meyer on the end of the cross. It's still Heskey. Comes off Craddock. Harman tries again. Oh, good save. Beautiful volley dipping from Dietmar Harman. Meyer. Well played. Heskey. Oh, yes, he's got Berber in. He's onside. Lovely upside. Oh, he's got it now. Now that's offside. Danny Murphy. Good decision, in my opinion, by the officials. First time, no. Second time, yes. Goes beyond Quinn. Song didn't make a good job of that. Look at Phillips here. Vesterbelt is out. Penalty, is it? Yes. Has to be. Has to be. Oh, what a penalty. It nearly broke the net. It's a good throw, here's Berger, penalty, upended by Gareth Southgate, not too many complaints about it, not too many doubts about it. It's going to be Mike Lowen who has some responsibility, right in front of the cup, and was it over the line? Owen thinks it was, the assistant says it wasn't, and the shot comes in from Gerard and it's wide. Eski, Thompson. Oh, good skills, Thompson!
he's had to take a little bit of stick over the past couple of days for failing with the penalty against Aston Villa on Wednesday. The best way to reply to that is to score in the next game, and Owen has done that. A few more games here this season. But Heskey heads on. Owen trying to get between two. Owen again, great stop by Mark Cork. Heskey just came on the blind side of uh, Elliot then. Matteo, camera. Still Titi, camera. And that should mean the three points for Liverpool. Still a bit for Titi, camera to do here once he checked back inside, but he did it with a plump. Great excitement, great expectations around Anfield because this is a fixture that usually delivers. And an early chance, but a foul by Thompson. He was pushing and it's not going to count. That would have been some start. It would have been after 11 seconds. No goals with five minutes of the first half remaining. Liverpool looking to change that now. This is Haman. He might have a pop here, he does! And it had Shea Given scrambling a little bit. Barton. Kieran Dyer is available down the line, but it got lost in the legs of Patrick Berger. And now Camera has got Gerrard with him. Steven Gerrard. And Titi Camera! <laughs> Liverpool lead! A game that was crying out for a goal. It has a goal. Now this one is aimed towards Alan Shearer! And it's in! Shearer strikes! And Newcastle are level! It's come through to Shearer, scorer of Newcastle's equaliser. Kieran Dyer now, teeing it up for Kevin Gallagher. Kieran Dyer pushed onto the post by Vestervelt. Vital save. Rupia, hoping to be a menace here. No Patrick Berger now to take the corner, so his replacement, Danny Murphy, will. And Redknapp's header! It's in! Jamie Redknapp! Liverpool have snatched it! Redknapp, sideline for so long through injury. But in a season generally to forget, this is a moment to remember for Jamie Redknapp. I think you could tell there by my emotion that um, it's been a long four months being injured. I've, I've worked very hard to come back and sometimes you do wonder that you're going to come back and little things like go for your mind at certain times. But today made it all the worthwhile and uh, very, very proud today. A goal-scoring comeback for the club captain, Jamie Redknapp, after a hellish injury-strewn season. Before winning his place back, there was a long rehabilitation in the reserves. Latterly, alongside the vice-captain, Robbie Fowler, who's never lost his goal-scoring touch or his faith, keeping a balanced mind in the most trying of times. could not put it into words, I mean, the, the two years that I've had, it's just been a nightmare, but, I mean, I say, these things could happen in football. If it weren't me, it'd be someone else, so, um, for the sake of everyone else, I'm glad it was me. The manager has, has put a lot of faith in uh, me and Jamie. Uh, obviously, Jamie's captain. Uh, Jamie's been a long time, and, and he's a very good player. Uh, Jamie, he's missed the majority of the season, like myself. Um, but the manager, I mean, he obviously does come out and say, obviously, we're important members of, of the squad, which is very nice, you know, I mean, it still uh, proves that the manager's still got us in his thoughts. By Gerard. This is Owen, trying to use his pace against Shaw, who's pretty quick as well. And that was a really smart effort from Michael Owen. Owen, and 
still Michael Owen. Oh, yes! Are you watching Gerard Houllier and Kevin Keegan? Well, the rest last week seems to have done the old hamstring a power of good, twisting and turning. presence in the penalty area is matched by the slightly taller Sammy Hoopier and it's Heskey! Club record signing is off the mark and don't his teammates love it? How did it feel to get your first goal for the team? It was nice, you know, um, a lot was said about um, goal scoring and everything, you know. Um, but I get on with my game, and I enjoy it, and, and I knew it'd come. Yeah, Emil's uh, settled in really well. Um, he's a, a different type of player to most because not everyone's got his strength, and uh, to have strength and speed and, and uh, a good strike on him, you don't get many players like that. I think Emil's going to be a great acquisition for the club. He's a, he's a very good player, very strong. Um, the lads very much appreciate him already. Uh, and I think that he's going to really show in the next few years. He's still only young, 22, I think he is. Still show what a really good player he is for us for the future. Couldn't have been teed up more sweetly for Patrick Berger. He turned his body and then he lashed it. Heskey, delightful touch to Owen. Back to Heskey. Oh, great run by Heskey! Oh, that would have been a wonderful goal by Emil Heskey. Heskey again takes Campbell out of the game. Owen tries to get past the rest of them. Falls to Heskey! Blocked by Walker. Owen wants it back. Oh, he gets it back. And that combination is beginning to work superbly. Heskey and Owen. Heskey batters them down, and Michael Owen finishes them off. The way it looked, there seems to be Liverpool supporters, and they might have something to cheer, but Heskey is denied by Sullivan. A good save, too, from Scotland's number one. Heskey unlucky. Careful deliberations from Thompson. And Owen! Well, he's not normally noted for his heading, but that wasn't far off. Needed saving. Thompson again. Dropping the shoulder. Good skill. The shot not quite matching the approach, but he's a talent, isn't he? But harrying again from Liverpool. Wimbledon just can't get in this game, and they're going to be behind surely now. They are. from Emil Heskey and Liverpool well the fanfare of trumpets from Heskey says it all Wimbledon just haven't really been in this and with Michael Owen around they can't even dwell here's Haman now Owen peeling away to the left Haman all alone good save by Sullivan Liverpool are running this Hughes it's a good play from Hughes, good shot! And Westermel, who's been a virtual passenger, does make a save when called upon. And a good one. Berger with the signals, Heskey on the near. And it is Heskey! 2-0, game one now, surely. expect from a side that are desperate for a goal and they have one. Anderson it is that's got it. 
So, up to second after five straight wins in a row. The runners arrested by the boys in blue. Everton once again showing no neighbourly love. A mistake by Collins, seized on by Berger. Owen, first chance for Liverpool, for Owen to open his account against Everton. Pesky. Well, it's run beyond Unsworth. It'll be collected here by David Thompson. Pushed out by Gerard Heskey. It was Owen's shot. Gerard made the save. Heskey tried to turn in the rebound. Everton survived. Berger. Xavier. Oh, and he hasn't been decisive here. Oh, what a chance to win it for Liverpool, for Vegar Hagen. Well, that fell nicely for Di Matteo, or he won it rather well. And George Ware and Chelsea take the lead. And we're only two minutes into the match. Sammy Hoopier is up from the back on the far side. Carragher is in there as well. Oh, and De Hoy. Well, did he have the post covered? It went straight through, I think, from Murphy. It's very quick out there. This is George Ware from Wise. And now it's Zola. And Di Matteo's in the centre. So is Ware here. It can go on to Di Matteo. 2-0, Chelsea. Good record over the years at Leicester have had at Anfield. What wonders just what's going on here because Cotty's through and Leicester's excellent record at Anfield has got a great beginning after two minutes, a chance to add to that. Picked up by a Liverpool player and it's Gilchrist on the end and right in front of the cop, it's 2-0. But Robbie Fowler, good save from Arfixer, he's Heskey now. Blocks and the pressure is building and building and Fowler goes close. Here's Berger, now Heskey. Oh, well done, Heskey! Oh, he was looking for the moment and Fowler and Arfixer blocks and Heskey's so keen to score against his old club. Salford. Ooh, three coming in for Southampton. Tesson! Goalkeeper turned it aside. Heskey. He's got to such a strong shot, but that's not it. That's Camera. Turned aside by Moss. Heskey's cross. Comes to Meyer. Not the tall players heading for goal, but little David Thompson. Our man to take the free kick. Oh, Moss had to reach up for it. And he reached up again. The header was from a player who's not yet scored for Liverpool. Anfield acknowledged the efforts made by the New Look team who were bringing European football back to Merseyside. The progress report was very good. The last home game of the season marked the end of Chief Executive Peter Robinson's reign at Anfield. The last link with the Shankly era, a visionary who recruited Gerard Houllier.
Sharp. Goal. Sort of uh, show left over him. That's the best header that Heskey's made, and it's put Owen in here. And it's off the line by Haller. Been, uh, giving Sterling service. Huge roar as the goalkeeper makes an excellent save from Owen, and the crowd had their minds on other things. This is Schmidt. Early crossing. Oh, no, goodness me. A marked improvement on last season's seventh, just missing out on the Champions League, but fourth place qualifies for the UEFA Cup. And a couple of days after the season's finale, a fitting tribute to one of the old boot room boys. Ronnie Moran, a Shankler disciple, given a never-to-be-forgotten testimonial against Celtic. 50 years, boy and man, he served the club. 33,000 turned out to show their gratitude. Some of the legends took to the hallowed turf in a pre-match exhibition. Alan Kennedy scored. And Stan Boardman, ex-Liverpool apprentice, set up Steve McMahon. And Ian Rush scored his customary cop-end goal. Then the legends made way for the stars of today. Robbie Fowler set up Eric Meyer for his first Anfield goal. David Thompson ended his excellent season with an absolute stunner. And the new luck Liverpool kit brought the best out of the boys. Titi Camera scored the third. And then following a party trick or two, Celtic were hit for four. The season of transformation ended, but the future is looking rosy red. I think next year will be a, we have a massive season for us. I think we've got the, the players to really uh, to go on and be successful now. We, we have uh, improved a lot and I hope that we, uh, we still uh, continue the improvement like it uh, has been now. And uh, I think there's going to be a couple of new faces uh, in the summer. So. Uh, I think next year we we uh, can do a little bit better than this year. Yeah, I think we've definitely got a chance. You know, we, we showed how far we've come this season and how close we are to Manchester United and Arsenal and the Chelsea. So hopefully we can uh, run them even closer to next season. There's been a good season for us, uh, better than we expected. But hopefully we start uh, with the level we are playing now. Uh, the last couple of months, uh, if we play uh, the way we do. Uh, and we start that way next season. Yeah, we can go for the Champions League spot again, or uh, yeah, maybe higher and win the league. There's a buzz. <laughs> There's something. There's a nice feeling. Let's keep it going and let's uh, keep the progress and the, the good work going.